obviously we saw Marshawn Lynch going out there, running off the field, going to protect his cousin, gets the boot, then he doesn't really leave. He's in the stands, incognito. Is he worth the distraction at this point? The answer is yes. And it's almost independent of his production on the field. Because Stephen A. was the first that I was aware who pointed it out in the national media. But think about what kind of an effect on the locker room in Seattle it had when Marshawn Lynch wasn't handed the ball in the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. Now you can say, well, come on, the stakes are different. He was a great player at that point, and they lost the Super Bowl as a result. But I think it's more than that. Even him riding the public transportation with mm -hmm. fans after the game. Marshawn Lynch is a man of the people. He's such a Beast raider. Mode. He, he's such a raider. Exactly. It's so, it's so perfect. Exactly. And he inspires that mm -hmm. feeling in people. You could see teammates standing up for him, not the way some teammates pay lip service to how important other teammates yeah. are, but it's coming from a place inside them that they like him, mm -hmm. right? They like having him as a teammate. So is it worth it to have, well, first of all, did they need him on the goal line, right, when he wasn't in the game? Yes, they did. So he's still useful in that respect. And it's good for him that they won the game. Because if they lose the game yeah, yeah, and they course. don't have him on the goal line, so that's a little bit of a lucky break for him. But the answer is yes, he's worth the distraction because his teammates seem to like him. And when he's treated in a way that they don't like, we've seen it once before, it can cause a divide. Believe it or not, I'm one of the few members of the media who could say I had a conversation with Marshawn Lynch. <laughs> um, he spoke to you. A couple of years ago, we were in Toronto, uh -huh. uh, NBA All-Star Weekend. He was there. Uh, he was at a club there. We spoke for, I mean, we spoke for about 10, 15 yep. minutes. You know, he was with a couple of the fellas and what have you, and um, he's as real as they get. Mm -hmm. He's as authentic as, he, as it gets. He doesn't have a fake bone in his body. Um, He's a highly intelligent dude. This dude is not stupid. He's a very, very smart guy. And I genuinely like him. And I think that Max is absolutely right when he talks about independent of his production. He's only averaging about 3.7 yards a carry this year. Uh, he hasn't played, really. He didn't play last year, obviously. The year before that, when, you know, uh, when he elected to retire, he wasn't having the greatest season because Pete Carroll forgot that an offensive line comes with a football team. He's supposed to make sure that you got guys that can block and pass and protect. Uh, but here's the deal. It's important that we say this, and I'm going to say this, and I hope that, I hope, I doubt it, but I hope that Marshawn is, is listening. Actually, I don't doubt it. He'll hear about it or watching it now. But here's what needs to be said about Marshawn Lynch. Marshawn Lynch is a good dude who's a man of the people, but everybody ain't Marshawn Lynch, and everybody can't get away with what you can get away with. And the things that you do, although it usually is for the right reasons, okay, like when he doesn't talk to the media, listen, there was a once upon a time, Marshawn Lynch wasn't always like that, but people felt the need to try and get in his personal business and ask him, and he just shut it down. He said, to hell with y'all. And I don't have a problem with that, because guess what? We don't have a license to be all up in your personal business. But when other cats listen, try to do it, we did have a problem with it. it. They can't get away with the same thing he does. He has right. something about him it's, that's charming. Well, well, he has something about him, but it's Made because... A lot of money off well, here's too, the deal. Sure. It's because he doesn't say anything. It's not because he picks and chooses or tries to handpick who to talk to so he can control a narrative. You don't... You might see Marshawn Lynch talking on Late Night, but you don't see him talking to reporters, okay? Whereas other people, well, they won't talk to this reporter, but they talk to that reporter because what you're trying to do is manipulate and control a narrative. Marshawn Lynch is telling you he don't give a damn about any narratives. He don't want you in his business. He don't want to get in yours. Live your life. Let him live his. All I'm saying is this is also a guy that contributes to the community, particularly the inner city communities. And the kind of things that he can get away with a lot of those guys can't. And so when you have this reputation as somebody who's willing to buck the rules and do your own thing all the time in any situation, that's counterproductive. You are Marshawn Lynch. You are a member of the NFL. You wanted to play. They did not say to you, oh, my God, the NFL needs you in order to play. There are rules that come with it. You don't run off the sideline onto the field when you... I mean, this is football. There are plenty of dudes out there that can go out there yep. to protect his cousin. You did not necessarily need to do that. And so let's be clear that I'm not trying to condemn the brother because I got love for him, but all I'm saying is, is that just because he's a man of the people and just because his heart's in the right place and just because he's as real as it gets doesn't make everything that he do that he does. Molly, can I right. respond? 